when I think of global warming, I think yeah. of greenhouse gases. When yeah. I think of greenhouse gases, I think of an ogre farting. Today on The State of Us, we're looking at some recent revelations about global warming. According to new research from two prominent academic journals, the collapse of the Antarctic ice sheet may now be irreversible. Which means that now is the best time to stop using your car so much, turn off lights when you're not in the room, and do anything you can to reduce your carbon footprint. No, that and is not going to stop this. It's already happening. Right, but if we do it in mass, we all bring our own bags to the grocery store. We can turn the tide. You're missing the point. It's done. But if not if we use jars for everything. We We're use out of luck. We can walk to work, we can bike to work. We can do that, but it won't stop this. Really? That's not even gonna do it? No. So then what's what what's gonna happen, huh? The sea level is gonna raise ten centimeters? Ten feet. Ten to thirteen feet, to be exact. But that's like almost my height. That would kill me. So how long do we have then before that basically Drowns us all. Well, a uh, few hundred years, but oh. the world. That... Oh, a few hundred years. Okay, so Are it's you not going to affect me? us directly. You, I was so scared. I was thinking I was going to have to write my will out that it was there was going to be a tidal wave coming, and I've got a few hundred years. I'll be fine. Trust your me. Your grandchildren won't be, and your children will have well, to deal with the mess that you left. And that's sad. But looking at how kids are nowadays, I'm not going to want my grandchildren around. I, I, they're probably going to be the most pathetic human beings ever. They're going to be some sacks of fat who are, who are eating Cheetos. New, whatever right. the new kind of Cheetos. Nobody's denying that, but just because we watched Wally last night doesn't mean that you have to bring it into our show. Okay, well, that was really good. It made me cry and laugh. <coughs> Sorry. Allergies got you down? No, I'm fine. Well, I think you might want to give the National Climate Assessment a call because they released a study this week suggesting that New potent allergy season is also due to global warming. Well, that's not a problem for me, Alex, because I happen to love my allergies. I get out of work early, girls pity me, even though I'm in a committed relationship, and I can really do anything I want. I just sneeze and I get free meals. You spent forty-seven twenty-five on tissue paper yep. and Allegra last month. Mm -hmm. And well spent, because that's a tax deduction. Can't argue with you there. Thanks, either. Uncle Sam. It's the state of us. And Aunt Pam.